my correct correct people how on a day yes so another to read on land on a domot happy new week to you all yes yanifa and kbc and the sacred shrine of odua on this one with tadenikawo my people we all know that tadenikawo is the first son of kbc oba adeyeye enitan ogumusi and the crown prince even though some people are dragging the crown prince hood with Tadenikawo, but we know say they no go succeed because we have just one crown prince and KBAC has been announcing it to the world and just announced also yesterday that Tadenikawo is the crown prince and no one, I mean no one should tamper with that position as KBAC is not ready to accommodate anyone in that position so my people we are hearing that uh, uh, the odua sacred shrine of odua has uh, summoned uh, tadenikawo for a cleansing i can't wonder i asked this question of what cleansing what is the cleansing for they said cleansing is for him to be protected against any plans of the oloris that are dragging this crown prince with him because we know, say, the three wise women will come the other day. I don't know if you follow this story. Three wise priestess came all the way from Kwara State to come and tell KBC, say, somebody is dragging the crown prince with this boy. And that person has a very evil agenda against Tadenikawa. And this agenda must not be allowed to take place because if care is not taken, they are going to pull Tade out from the seat he is sitting, out from his throne and place him on the ground and now carry their own children and place on the throne of Tade Nekawu. My people, this, this dream, is this uh, revelation where they give is exactly what, is, what was about to happen when Anti Kalabash came to the whole world on the internet to announce that the crown prince is here. Can't you understand? Can't you understand? Can't you see? Can't you see what is happening inside the palace of Kabiesi? Competition all up and down. Competition here and there. Antikalabash is dragging seats. Ademi, Ademi, Ademi Wakawa, what is his name? He's dragging seats for his her son. As small as this boy is. Doctor, uh, what did they call him? Uh, Auntie Kalabash has already started started dragging seats for this boy. You understand? So, this thing now is really bringing a very serious issue. And this uh, uh, Odua shrine requests that Tade Nikawa should come for cleansing. So that whatever, because we hear say Auntie Kalabash, even for that UK where she did, she carry her button where she depressed. She carry her calabash. They there they press the button. Don't be surprised that all these things that are happening between KBAC and Queen Naomi, she must have been pressing the button there. Even the, the priestess that came, they confirmed it that something is really coming. There is an arrow that is coming from UK direct to Ileife. And who else is in UK right now? Because we know that Blue Blue is also a UK resident, but it's not in UK as we speak. It is only anti Calabash that is in UK. And Kwenomi, who just returned from UK, cannot be throwing arrow against his own son. Her own son, sorry. So you see, but the problem now is that due to the misunderstanding between KBAC and Queen Naomi, they said Queen Naomi do, did not allow. Um, um, Tade Nikawo for this cleansing. A lot of people are reacting to this. That why won't him allow Tade Nikawo to come for this cleansing? That Tade Nikawo, for crying out loud, is Kabiesi's first son and must obey tradition because Kabiesi is a pure traditionalist. So, which means this Tade Nikawo is supposed to follow every step of his father because he is the crown prince, he is the first son. So Kwinomi is not allowing this boy, according to what people are reacting to, what people are complaining, that Kwinomi is not allowing this boy to exercise his rights as a traditional 
ruler as a small king that he is a small king he is the prince and he's a small king and he's supposed to you do know normally if things are okay between kabi ac and uh, queen naomi tade nikawo is supposed to be following kabi ac anywhere kabi ac is going if everything is all right oh if there are no evil women hunting for the seats on the throne of tade nikawo my people Tade, as they said, is supposed to be following Kabi AC to every traditional meeting, every shrine meeting, all of those things. Because Queen Naomi knew it would be like this before he, she, uh, he agreed, she agreed to marry Kabi AC. So that is what the point people are making. Now, Queen Naomi totally refused that Kabi, uh, Tade Nikawo will go for that cleansing. That that cleansing is of no use to Tade Nikawo that he doesn't want Tade Nikawo to step foot into that palace, not to even talk more of going for the cleansing. Because they said women are not allowed to visit the shrine. It is only men and male child. So if I think that is one of the reasons why Queen uh, Kabi AC, uh, Queen Naomi refused that Tade Nikawo would go. Because they said Tade Nikawo is going inside there alone. Queen Naomi, uh, no woman is going to follow Tade Nikawo. So it's just Kabi AC, the far priest, uh, the elders, and Tade Nikawo. And you know that Queen Naomi will never leave the side of Tade Nikawo. They are so addicted to each other. Queen Naomi is so addicted to Tade Nikawo, like her life depends on, on Tade Nikawo. She loves Tade Nikawo more than a mother should love son. So, and because of the things happening around her, so she feels she needs to protect Tade Nikawo to the highest. That she doesn't even need to leave Tade Nikawo to stay out of his sight at all. Not even one minute. So I think that is the major reason why she refused. Because as they said, she will not follow Tade to that shrine. That no woman is allowed to enter there for the cleansing. That is only men and male, male child, male uh, boys. My people, they say... Oh, Kwenomi say, if not like that, say, make deliver. Say, Tade is not going for any cleansing. That whatever these people are doing to Tade will not enter Tade because she is also a fire when it comes to prayer. That she prays very well. Yes, everybody knows she's a prophetess, she's a pastor. And her, she's clean, so she, she prays as well. You know, so she tell them that nothing will happen to Tade Nikawo. That whatever person anybody is pressing to anywhere the person is, will definitely go back to that person. As she is not allowing Tade to go for any shrine, except she goes with him. My people, we know this is not possible. As the, the, the custodian of Odua Shrine has said, woman is not allowed to go there. Only men. Now, how are we going to resolve this thing? When Naomi say, okay, oh, if you and people are not going with me, I need to protect my child. I am not stopping Tade Nikawo, my people. Listen very well. She said she's not stopping, according to waiting with the hear, no be me talker, that she's not stopping Tade to attend whatever traditional thing that his father is doing. After all, Tade is from Ilefe. You understand? But the, for the fact that they said she will not go with Tade, that she cannot leave Tade for just one minute to do anything. They said even Yanefa was begging Queen Naomi, release Tade, I will take care, I will be there, I will wash over Tade. They said Queen Naomi said, no, Mama, you don't need to. I, I cannot stay like this, you know. I can't stay like this a minute without Tade Nikawo. Not to talk more of going into that shrine. When I am not there, my eyes are not looking at him. Hmm, my people, they say no be smarting. They say Iyanifa almost got pissed off, but she was calming herself because she understands that anybody way uh, 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 this is they said my uh, the, and Edes said that anyone that is has been beaten by a uh, stung by a, a bee if the person sees a big house fly the person go run nine they do queen naomi and yanifa understand perfectly well the reason why queen naomi said no that is not going people that are criticizing queen naomi are they criticizing him sure. People that understand her are there understanding her. But two things are involved. It's either Tade goes to the shrine or Tade did not go to the shrine. Of which people are telling Queen Naomi, please release him to go. Since Yanifa said he, she is going to wash over. But Yanifa also is a woman. But because Yanifa is a, a priestess, yes, they say she's not going to step in, but she's going to stay a bit far. But Queen Naomi own or any other ordinary woman, 
will not even smell the door of the place or even smell the entrance. The person will have to be very, very far away. So, now the matter where they fly around the social media like this, so I say, hey, so tradition day like this, where they no go green, make person, mama, follow and enter shrine. And it can't be say, when no mean a person where they fear, don't they fear this old ladies. He wants, she just wants to protect her son and now this this is happening uh, there is no how i think we normally will let tadeneka will go what will be your opinion my correct correct people please kindly drop your comments on the comment section and remember what we are saying is that uh, uh, the news making around the social media don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up remember the news making waves is that tadeneka must come for cleansing only Nikawo and not with anybody. And Kwenomi is saying, if Tade cannot come with me, if I cannot go with Tade, then there is no need of Tade stepping foot into that place. I will be bringing you more updates, my correct, correct people. Please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget that all these are alleged information. I will be right back.